Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video, we will look at uh, function libraries, we'll dive deep into function libraries, we'll see how you know this can be used uh, to kind of house all the business logic. We'll also load um, function libraries, we'll load object repositories, everything from the script using these functions. I'm starting off with a blank script. Uh, you can you know, take a look at this object repository, no objects whatsoever here. And uh, uh, there's nothing in there as well. Oh, they are from the other one. So there, there are, there's nothing in the script. Action is blank. Go to look at the canvas. There's nothing there. All blank. So we want to start with a blank script. Use function libraries that have the logic to start the application log into the application, book a flight, and close all that. We'll use functions that are already there. And, you know, I'll go over that function library after I demonstrate the script. So first, is what I'll do is I'll, I'll find or I will use a function library that has all those uh, functions. Open function library, and this is a function that has all the logic. And I'll go over this script at the end. So once I have this, what I'll do is I need to, you know, write call appropriate functions. And I know that all the functions start with when fly. Uh, it's not showing up because I haven't associated this uh, function library yet. Now, if I do win, I should see those functions from there. And I know that because these are because that's a naming structure that I followed. So first is I know that you know I can I need to start the application. I'll start the application. And then I need to log in. I need to um, book a flight. By the way, all these are in this you know function library. Uh, after you book, you will exit. Again, this workflow totally depends on your uh, application. But this is a sample application. We know the workflow, and that's the reason why I'm calling the you know functions in a specific order. So after this is done, <clears throat> you know if you run this as such, you know it will work because we have this. But where are the object repositories? I mean, they are completely blank. I mean, the object repository, there's nothing in there. Then how does, you know, the, now when you run this, how does the script recognize the objects? It will not. You know, we need to now load the object repository. There, we need an object repository with all the objects in this particular application. And I already have that defined here. I'll use load object repositories. And this function loads object repository that is specifically developed for this function. It's very easy. I have already shown that to you in another video where you would use object repository manager to build object repository. So I built one using that tool and I have it on the file system and I'm using the path to load it. So I load this. So and the only reason why I'm able to you know use IntelliSense to see all these functions is because I have this here. If I remove this I will not be able to do that. Control enter. There's nothing space, you know, control space. I can't see that. I mean, it doesn't pull it. So now, without that, uh, because that's it, all the functions are here. So when you run the script, it will fail, obviously, because let me go ahead and run it. Because it, it you know, it cannot recognize what this load underscore ORZ is. That's the very first line. It says, you know, mismatch. It, it's not able to find. So, First is we need to load, somehow we need to load this action. I and mean, if we associate it, again, it's a design time. We want to load it at the runtime. And there is a function called load function library. And all you need is to give a path. And I already have that path here. 
I'll just copy this line and put it here as the very first line and if let me paste it below it's nothing but the same command remove that so if we run the script now the very first line here it's loading a function library and that function library nothing but here it has all the functions that are needed to run these things because we are making a function call here so we are loading the function library and then using the functions from that function library so now if I run it it should run so print message loaded uh, mismatch print my message probably you know I'll just skip this line You know, you know what, let me go ahead and uh, stop the script. Go into here and it's looking for print function. Probably there's, it's not there. So, okay, let me just create a function with this name just to make sure the script runs function that's the name and it is taking a string and it's taking I mean to say message message to then you know what let me quickly look at the other function libraries okay uh, let us not create that function we already have that function and I know why we are running into that issue um, the end of this function uh, 46 which says win flight load function libraries there is a function library called library one sample.qfl that's here I just opened it and it already has that you know print my message so it, the function is there but you know the, when we were running it was not able to recognize and the reason for that is we didn't call it function we need to call this function so that you know it, it loads all the functions from these libraries as well if you look at our script we didn't call it so we need a call there that's it so it's loading this main function that has everything in there the main functions and then within that function library we are calling another function called load libraries it's loading the rest of the libraries that are needed function libraries needed for the test now let me go ahead and run it and it should work just fine we'll close the sample application run it so it load the main library then it load rest of the libraries and as you can see it's you know this time there's no error and it, it keeps putting those messages here in the output window so that's an error that I'm getting with the sample app that's fine but you know it's done so it was able to start the application load function libraries load ORs it was able to recognize everything you see and then you know start application login book of light and exit just to demonstrate this with to you that it's actually loading objects during the runtime let me not load the libraries using the function I'll just you know comment that line out now if I run it should not be able it should be able to start but it will not be able to recognize you know these uh, screens let's let me demonstrate that for you so this is the one that loads the library so I'm kind of commenting it out so it there would be no uh, object repository during you know at the runtime look at it, the object cannot be found it is not able to find because it has no knowledge of the object so now quickly uh, review the actual you know the business functions that are in the uh, in this particular uh, function library uh, we'll just go one by one uh, let me do this real quick okay we have you know these six functions so the first one all it has is the start you know system util dot run line you are all familiar with it so that's simple just one step to start application 
the login the login the all I did was when I recorded when I originally recorded I copied those steps and moved them here that's the only thing I did move them here and made sure that I, I, I had this you know within this function definition gave appropriate name and done it and I added this one line in there so that you know in the output I actually you know see the information so just to you know get a feel of all that you know I, I did this so next uh, next function is book a flight did the same thing I took the whole thing from there after the recording process took the all those steps and dumped it into this function and same thing with the exit now if you look at it, it, it currently these values are not parameterized I mean you can parameterize here as well I mean you can have parameterized statements I mean after you parameterize do this thing because now once you parameterize you get this parameterized statements here maybe talking to your um, global sheet or maybe talking to your uh, you know um, your local sheet depending on the actions how you have it and sometimes you know if this is the case where the action one has uh, you know uh, you might need end up you know putting data here but you could dynamically load uh, data as well which you know we'll talk when we deal with Excel spreadsheets so uh, where is uh, this so you could do that as well you can add checkpoints you can maybe have a function for all the checkpoints that you need just take all those checkpoint statements and you know create appropriate functions and make sure you call a uh, checkpoint function appropriately meaning while you're on the login screen don't call a checkpoint that looks for something on reservation screen doesn't make any sense right so when you do things like this you have to be very careful about how you call your functions because this is your workflow this has to be in line with the f with the workflow of the application if it is not then it will not work for example let's say if I do this if I move this line right above this meaning it is starting booking a flight and then logging in after you start the application well, you end up with a login screen there's no way you can book a flight so that's the reason why you you know the way you call your workflow here should match with your actual workflow so you just take a little care around it you'll be set for you know this kind of uh, you know, automation again quick recap the actual script has nothing all it is doing is calling bunch of functions and all the functions are in a function library the actual objects no objects are you know associated or you know I mean to say there is no object repository for the action or for the script we are actually loading the object repositories using a, a function so we are dynamically loading the required object repository at the runtime and we are also doing the same thing for additional object you know additional function libraries we are loading them at the runtime and uh, you know the actual action itself has a load function library statement this is loading all the functions you know the base functions primarily okay Okay, that's uh, you know the next level with uh, the function libraries where the whole logic sits in the function library, but you only uh, call the functions from a script to you know perform your test. Okay, you know that's it about function libraries. I hope uh, it was a little bit of a, you know exciting topic because you know now the whole magic moves from the actual test into a function library. Now that could be a .qfl file, .vbs file, .txt. It doesn't matter it's so because you know it could be any file to be configured as a function library okay well that's it about function libraries i hope you all enjoyed it and uh, i will talk to you in the next video